What will happen to Icon now that BI is gone? How's it going everyone? I'm Internet's Nathan and welcome back to the What Happened series. Where this time it's a bit different than my usual What Happened series because it is a ongoing thing right now but it's about the BI situation and the consequences of that and how it may affect Icon in the future. And the recent fallout of YG Yang Han Suk and his brother Yang Min Suk who was the CEO resigning from all positions in the company. Now this is a disclaimer, since it is an ongoing situation, don't take any of this as fact quite yet because it is still developing. As of now, it is June 13, 2019 at 12 p.m. when I'm recording this. So Icon has a short of a history. I just want to go back and talk about Icon's history leading up to today with a main focus on BI. Now before looking forward, I always like to look back. Icon became known by the public through YG's survival show Win, Who's Next, where at the time they were just called Team B. Team A was a group that would win the competition and debut as the group known as Winner. Which is funny because Yang Han Suk looked like he favored Team B more when Team A won the show, but I, I don't know. After missing their first opportunity to debut, Icon was given another chance in another YG survival show called Mix and Match, where they would pick up the rest of the members to finally become a seven member group known as Icon. 2015, Icon had a pre debut track, My Type, and they already made their presence known. My Type got Icon's first win only 11 days after its release. I, Icon, My Type also achieved a triple crown. A triple crown means basically that if one song wins on one music show for three consecutive weeks, it gets a triple crown and can never be in contention for next week's number one spot. All this with one song and Icon didn't even debut yet. Icon's official first album would be the Welcome Back album split up into two parts with a debut half album and then a debut full album. The group's leader was credited as producing and co-composing all the tracks in the debut album who was this? None other than B.I. Yes, every single song, including the debut title track, Rhythm Ta. The group's first debut concert, Showtime, sold out 13,000 tickets quickly in one of Korea's largest concert halls for a rookie group. That ain't that bad. Icon would then greet Japanese Iconic, Icon's fandom name, by holding a Japanese fan meeting. Icon would add two more digital singles before releasing the debut half album, including Apology and Anthem, topping charts again. Icon would wrap up 2015 with even more singles, Dumb and Dumber, What's Wrong, and I Miss You So Bad. 2016, Icon would venture back to Japan to debut with the Japanese version of the Welcome Back album. Growing in popularity, Icon went on their first Asian tour. I Concert 2016 Showtime Tour. Adding two more cities at the end of their tour after the demand for tickets were so high. Icon returned to the K-pop scene with the digital single WYD, What You Doing. 2016 ended pretty quietly, but 2017, Icon was planning something new. New Kids Begin was the name of the single album consisting of tracks Bling Bling and B-Day. Two songs that are club bangers but are still very different on their own. 2018, coming off of Bling Bling and B-Day, which were high tempo and energetic, Icon would slow it down and mellow it out with arguably the song of the year of 2018. <laughs> Love, Love Scenario was a song that isn't traditionally Icon style, but it was perfection. Simple, slow, but so amazing. I, I can't really explain it, but in the same year Pentagon released Shine, which for some reason gave me the same vibes as Love Scenario, as I really love both. Love Scenario was the title track of the Return album with 12 tracks featuring legendary names as co-writers. Psy, Taeyang, and Tableau. YG Family was working on Icon's new album, and it was beautiful. And Killing Me was Icon's last release as Seven. As today, 
Icon faces a major challenge. Reports earlier this week had messages between BI and a dealer where BI attempted to purchase LSD and weed from that dealer. The Cacao Tonk messages were from 2016, and now BI's name came out. Almost immediately as the news broke, YG released a statement saying the accusations were false, but BI would admit to wanting to buy the drugs but never went through with it as he was scared and going through a difficult and rough time. There is rumors about the girl that was involved in T.O.P's case involved in this one, but that is just speculation at the moment. And so BI himself announced his departure from Icon and his contract with YG Entertainment was terminated. As this continues to unfold, fans share their anger with a petition to try and keep B.I. an icon with over half a million signatures. And earlier this morning, why is it every single day when I wake up now, there is like groundbreaking news? <laughs> First, Yang Han Suk, the founder and the face of YG Entertainment, resigned from the company. In a statement saying, I intend to step down from all positions and tasks from YG as of today. I sincerely hope that there will be no more damage caused to the YG artist and everyone who has loved them because of me. Then right after that, his brother, Yang Min Suk, which is the CEO of YG Entertainment, also resigned. This, this is what everyone was hoping for. But the fact that it actually happened, I thought we'd never see the day. But it doesn't seem like the hashtag YG is over party is ready to start just yet. Because although Yang Min Suk and Yang Hyun Suk resigned from the company, they still hold a major influence within YG. Why is this? Because of their stocks. When starting the YG Entertainment Company, Yang Han Suk brought on his brother Yang Min Suk, and since they were the founders and kind of like the first employees of YG Entertainment, they had stock options. And as of today, they are the major stockholders within their own company which is a very smart move. Young Hun Suk is the largest stockholder in YG Entertainment with 16.12%. His little brother, Young Min Suk, who was the former CEO, is the second largest shareholder. The rest of the shareholders only have about 1% each, so they have a huge sway and influence in YG Entertainment decisions, even if they completely leave YG Entertainment. And this, I believe, is just a publicity move. Because Yang Han Suk wasn't a part of the executive board for a long time already. The only thing that could change is the fact that the CEO, Yang Min Suk, left. This is still monumental, although it really doesn't change much. Where does this leave Icon? YG said Icon would continue as six members, however, B.I. was the songwriter, composer, producer, and more importantly, the leader of the group. B.I. has been with YG half of his life for 10 plus years working on his craft, producing and writing for numerous YG artists. Winner's debut song, Empty? That was B.I. Epic High's Born Hater? B.I. Blackpink's Whistle? B.I. Tracks in Psy's latest album? B.I. And most recently, Lehigh's comeback? It was B.I. B.I. dedicated his life to the craft of music, and YG helped with that. I've said this before, there is no loyalty anymore. Labels don't have artists back. They will turn on you no matter what. Everyone has to know it's like that, but to continue to do this every time an accusation happens, what do you have left? For example, when Bomb had her scandal, YG turned their back on her and 21. When reports come out about their artists, they cut them off. I don't know what YG would do if GD had serious allegations against him. You know, God forbid, but will YG turn their back on an artist who made Big Bang happen, brought YG into the big three? I know companies don't want negative press, but when it's allegations and not a conviction or a sentence and just rumors, come on. Where BI didn't even go through with using drugs or even purchasing them, where is your spine? When Hyuna and Idon started dating publicly, it was easy for Cube to drop them. How about embracing it? starting a new culture of acceptance. I'm using it as an example, but you get where I'm coming from. As I've been covering the YG fallout, there could be a company culture that needs changing. Yes, but the media in Korea has been relentless in their efforts to try to take down YG. Tons of rumors and speculation. I'm not taking sides here, but the fact that these rumors keep piling on at a time when YG is down, I'm sorry, but I'm seeing it now. And the fact that YG is playing into the media's hands, tearing groups apart, having long hiatuses with no updates. I'm really tired of this. I hope BI doesn't take this hard. I hope he has someone to rely on because he couldn't find it when he needed it the most.
that's it for me guys i just want to emphasize that this is still an ongoing situation and any information that comes out after this it comes out after this i can't go back and re-edit and put this video back up again i i hope you guys understand there's got to be more to this because the fact that all this news keeps coming up all year round so far about yg the media has some part in it you know when a celebrity name is attached to something that could be controversial or a scandal they can run with it you 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 have to agree and sure there may be reasons as to why that the rumors may possibly could be true where there's smoke there's fire kind of situation but at, at this point I don't know, I'm, I'm, I'm seriously getting tired, and I'm, I'm sure you guys feel the same. If you enjoyed the video and found it informative, uh, give this video a like, and um, let me know what you think about the whole situation. Is it media play? Is there some truth involved? Uh, do you feel bad for B.I. because you... I don't know, man. I, I hope B.I. can can move on and grow from this, and don't let it bring him down into a place where he can't get out of you know what i'm saying if you enjoyed this and enjoy my other videos please hit that subscribe button and that bell so you don't miss a thing i want to see notification squad come in strong for my upcoming videos i'll be talking to you guys especially and big shout out to my patrons making these videos possible especially my newest newest patron pure k-pop sound thank you so much for supporting on patreon you guys are what makes this happen and i appreciate you guys so much if you want to help out head over to patreon consider supporting just like pure k-pop sound and if you can't help out on patreon i completely understand you can also help out by just clicking one of these videos down below that would also help out a ton i hope that this story can have a bit of a happy ending at the end but i don't know thank you guys so much for watching and i'll catch you guys in the next one have a great weekend and don't let all this news stress you out as much as it did me um but yeah thank you guys again i'll catch you guys next time Annyeong.